Good day everybody, here is another Creo tutorial. Today I'll show you how to create a new surface on top of two existing surfaces and blend them together smoothly. Blend them, blend them without any gaps between them, creating a nice smooth curve as you can see here in the front wheel arches and also on the wheel arches here. So what we're doing is creating a new surface on top of two existing surfaces and blending them together smoothly. Okay, so let's go into Creo. So I have my car model here. I have the side panel and the wheel arches and they don't blend together well. So we are going to create a surface on top and blend them together. So first we'll go into editing the style tool. So I'll just go out of this. So you use the style tool to create your car. So the first thing to do is open Creo and edit the style style feature. Okay, so after that we go create a curve. We're going to draw a curve on top of the surface. And this curve will be... So take your time drawing this curve and make sure you want to spread the curve evenly between the surface you want to add another control point right click at a point and see the intersecting um, position there try spread the curve out evenly evenly spaced out so it will, it will look it will have a better look so I'll put it right to the edge Okay, so we'll do that again for the other panel. So this curve is drawn on top of the surface. So it will be exactly on the surface and it will create a nice blend. So create a nice blend between the two surfaces. Okay, that looks fine. I'll, I'll have it like that. Okay. I'll bring this down a bit. Okay, after that we also need to create a curve joining the two curves we have created and we need to turn the drawing on surface off so this curve will be we don't want that that's fine so draw a curve we'll draw a curve normal curve so if you hold shift it will snap to the curve we just created and if you press the middle button, you can start a new curve. And okay, right there. Now we just, what we need to do, the important thing is we gotta make it sure this curve, you go to edit curve, click on the endpoints, make sure the tangency is on surface curvature, so it, it, um, it follows the, the surface of the point. So I click on the point or the four point and change it to surface curvature. And except what you can do, you can move it where you like. You can move the points, the edge as well. So now these curves are blend it with the surface so it shouldn't be straight so when there's a green line that means it's 
uh, tangent or curvature with the surface. After, after that, we're ready to create the surface. So cl click the surface tool and select the four edge. So we'll create a surface and there's an orange arrow. We're gonna right click and make sure it's on curvature. Tensions are very similar, but I think curvature is more smooth. So we'll accept that. And sometime you need to regenerate the the surface. So there you go. That's a surface blending between the two surfaces. So I'll quickly render that and see how it looks. So there you go, that's the final result. We have a blended surface between two other surfaces. So how we did that was we draw two curves on a surface, and then create another two curves connecting those curves, and go to surface and create the surface. So I did the same technique here. Here, here. This is really a really technical and useful technique to create a nice clean look between many of your surface. So I had a huge problem here of blending, blending the surface at the corner. But with that technique, you can, you can make many tricky, important surfaces for your car. So there you go. That's a unique te technique for this program, I think. So uh, there, there's some some interesting, unique, useful technique that's available with Pro Parametrics. So I hope you like the video. Add a comment, like the video, and share with your friends. Thanks a lot. See you later.